With these short videos, I don't do much explaining, but rather draw your attention to some deserving pieces of Soviet cinematography and let them speak for themselves. And in today's spotlight are two comedy shorts that established Leonid Gaidai as a brilliant comedy director and introduced the Soviet Three Stooges, a famous and beloved trio of truths, the coward, Balbes, the fool, and Bivali, the pro. The first 10-minute film called Dog Barbos and the Unusual Cross of 1961 is a classical slapstick comedy in the best traditions of the silent film masters, which Gaidai was a huge fan of albeit in color and with sound. In it, the trio and their dog, Barbos, go fishing. But it is immediately established that the men are no model Soviet citizens. They cut trees, make fires, drink vodka, litter and, to top it all, intend to blow the fish up with dynamite. But their plans are thwarted by the faithful and perhaps lawful Barbos, who fetches the dynamite stick and chases after them. The resulting unusual cross is full of stunts, many of which were improvised on the spot and only one third of which made the final cut. For example, here they run through a hut and the coward emerges without pants. He was to be followed by a bear carrying the pants, but a real one would have been a logistical nightmare, so the director himself put a bear costume on and played the part. Unfortunately, it looked too fake and was cut. The film was such an overwhelming success. Legend has it that some diplomats even did screens of the shot prior to important negotiations to soften their colleagues up. That the sequel, The Bootleggers, followed almost immediately after. In it, you can now enjoy the fairy tale winter scenery while our unsavory company makes moonshine alcohol in a remote hovel in the woods. This movie also has no dialogue only expressive pantomime and, all of a sudden, a song, where our trio praises their distillery machine and the coward, true to his name, worries about the repercussions of their illegal enterprise. After a while, their dog again plays vigilante by smashing the counterfeit bottles and stealing the condenser from the machine. The chase ensues with the roles reversed. And now they were able to utilize some of the tricks that didn't make it into the first movie and definitely secured a budget for a bear, albeit a Himalayan one. By the way, you might notice that it is a different dog from the original Barbos. In no way it is because they did it in after their dynamite ordeal. Initially they wanted to use the same dog actor, named Brech, but it couldn't carry the heavy condenser prop and had to be replaced with a more resilient Rex. Amusingly enough, while Brech happened to really dislike the actor who portrayed the pro, constantly growling and snapping at him, the first thing the new dog did was to bite the poor guy. The bootleggers were criticized for being overstretched. It's twice as long as the Barbos, and it was less successful than its predecessor, and already then Gaidai hoped to ditch the trio for good, but caved in to the demand of the audience and the bosses and agreed to make one more film with them and then another one. I'll tell what came out of it in my next video, meanwhile make sure to check out these two gems. Bye!